guys if you will be applying for your visa very soon in that dependent visa in that spouse visa in that skilled worker visa or care worker visa this video is absolutely for you guys the home office is not joking they are very serious so you don't want to make any errors because you don't want your visa to be denied if you are interested stay tuned <music> Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel. Trust me, guys, I'm super, super excited today. So, if you were seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Violet Okolacha. I live and I practice in the United Kingdom. And on this channel, I share every juicy information for nurses to pass their OSCE exam in one sitting and for generally every information that is juicy so please do me a favor like this video right now so you don't forget share this video with as many that will benefit from it and of course don't forget to subscribe now guys back to our topic for today if you intend to do a visa application or you'll be applying for your visa very soon this video is absolutely for you please pay proper attention somebody asked me this question today and I said no I must answer the question so that every one of us can understand what is going on now this is it I'll try to share it on the screen Nurse V please I beg respond please ma I've been invited by so I have been invited for interview by home office regarding my visa application. Wahalao, is it no mama? Please ma respond. And obviously, she's been invited by the home office. By the home office because she's applied for a visa and her visa has not been out. She has sent me a message previously. Was where I've been, my visa is not out. My visa is not out. I haven't responded. So, um, so now the home office has sent her an email inviting her for an interview regarding her visa application. So now she's like, wow, she's scared. Like, what's going on? Why are they inviting me for an interview? So now I said to her, it is not me. Anytime you do your visa application and the home office is not cleared about it, sometimes they can send you email to say they require more information, additional information regarding your visa. Sometimes they can send you email that they require to conduct an interview regarding your visa. So when you receive that email that they, they need to conduct an interview for you regarding your visa, it's not something to be scared. They usually send that email where probably there is something fishy. Probably your application is not straightforward. So your the evidences you provided, the factual evidences you provided in your visa application is not they don't understand what you mean by that, or they are suspecting something fishy. Do you understand? And you can't blame them. You cannot blame them because we all watched in Sky News how people, other people's spouse. A lady, you all watched it in Sky News. I've forgotten where she's from now. This lady is not married. She she applied that she's married and brought somebody else husband to the UK. Sky News carried it. So because people are playing pranks now, people are a lot of scam. So the home office is requiring, they are checking critically if your factual evidences you submitted during your visa application there's something queryable or probably there's a rat in the cupboard you know what i mean by rat in the cupboard or probably there's a crocodile in the cupboard they need to clarify things and that's why you can see the, the response i made to her nothing to be afraid of as long as you do not do anything illegal because if you give um, um clear conscience face no accusation so usually they do this when something is not clear to them so i replied i said all the best my darling so what they will now do is when they conduct that interview you imagine if you apply that you're a skilled worker or you apply as a care worker and your documents provided does not tell where your certificate does not tell where okay if you say you are for instance you are an IT person and all the documents you submitted regarding that is not proving to them that you are coming to the UK as an IT person they will want to know for that from you they want to clarify things from you so it is not out of place it is not new it is not new that they are requiring to conduct an interview for you regarding your visa application. It is not new. It has been happening. It is not new that they require additional information. It has been happening. So when there is something fishy about your application, it's not like it is illegal. Don't get me wrong. There is something not clear to them. 
then they will require additional information or they will require you for interview regarding your visa application now let me explain for that somebody also sent me an email i'll try to find it and post it if i can find it that plus v i applied for my husband to come and join me in the uk i provided our court's marriage certificates i provided our marriage certificates she said must be this tea sent me an email for additional information yes court certificates that you are married and the newspaper announcements that you changed your name or marriage certificate in church is no longer enough it's no longer enough so when she contacted me i had to tell her you have to take the book by the own photographs you can send photographs to prove that you people have been married photograph of him you know how husband and wife behave so you can send photograph yes even children visa if you apply for your children to join you in the uk my friend applied for uh, kids to join her in the uk and she was the only one applying they denied that visa they had to ask her where is the father of those children and of course she had to make sure she contacted the father of the children to also send some documents you know to approve that i want his children to travel send some other documents you know so it's not enough these days because of the level of fraud because of the level of scam you may just get a letter from the home office that they need more information or they require to conduct an interview regarding your skilled worker visa your dependent visa and stuff like that so it is not out of place i am telling you now because this lady did send an email so that you are all aware because usually how i get topics from my youtube is when you send me messages i said oh this is what's telling everybody do you understand so please be aware of that and so back to what i was telling you so this lady contacted me she just sent me an email that knows me see i said it is normal send your photo screenshots um whatsapp messages you and your husband have been communicating screenshots your call history of you and your husband communicating and um, print them out and send to them and obviously by the time she sent those documents they approved that visa yes so these days if you don't want them to send you message that they need more information or you don't want them to send you message that they need more that they need a, 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 an interview with you regarding your visa application make sure your documents are thorough make sure you provide them with all the necessary details they need if you're applying for your children visa consent later for you and your husband put all their immunization certificates put all their birth certificates put all your photographs with them you understand and that way they will know that oh of course this person all your photographs will put it and that's way they will know what to deny so make sure you also put your pay slip to prove that you can take care of them put your husband pay slip if you're a single mother make sure you get um, information from their father and you know and that's it if you are married, you apply for visa, marriage certificate and the uh, newspaper change of name and the uh, white wedding certificate is no longer enough. Screenshot your photograph, make sure the father of the boy writes a letter. I told her, I said, let the father of the of your husband, if he's alive, or you the mother of your husband, my daughter, I confirmed that my son is married to so 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 person. And you know, these are the things because obviously there's a lot of fraud. So we have to take we have to make sure we're sending every evidences and that's it. So if you are also a care worker and you're currently applying for your visa and you know you don't have experience for the care now they will scrutinize when you are doing your visa application so make sure you put all the evidences all the evidences to show that you are really a care worker if they found anything not factual if they're not okay with your evidences they will contact you for more information and of course they will contact you probably for interview regarding your visa application so make sure you put in all the details if you are not sure of what to put always ask questions if you are not sure of what to put to prove that oh this is this always ask questions all right guys so that's the information at hand so this is not a new news i'm only doing it because she asks and so i feel that probably more people need to hear this the home office can send you email that they need more information regarding your visa application they can ask you for an interview regarding your visa application so make sure you always do your visa application by yourself and if you don't even do your visa application by yourself make sure you read it thoroughly before you submit it now finally for those of you who are using the visiting visa to come and take your oski exam i've received lots of mails from them Nosvi, my visa was denied so um i will talk about that in another video but if you have any question do not hesitate to ask and when i can i'll respond to it thank you so much guys i'll see you in another of my juicy video
Bye, guys.